Hello, today we are going to see if a recent version of Wine can run correctly StarCraft Brood War. So these are the two software that are involved. Wine, not an emulator. I use a Linux operating system, Kubuntu 23.04. I'm going to install this software Wine and then inside I'm going to run the Windows version of StarCraft Brood War, which is a uh, game from uh, Blizzard. Okay, so let's uh, get into it. The first thing for Wine software, if you're searching on Google, Wikiwine software, you will get the Wikipedia page for Wine. There's the home page of Wine, which is called winehq.org, and most important, the Arch Linux Wiki article for Wine. If you get stuck, do, do read at least this Wiki page. Okay, let's just try and see if it works straight out of the box. Let's start the console, become super user. Let's see what the name of the package is. Okay, so it might be wine, wine 32, wine 64, I'm going to guess wine. We certainly need the 32 bit part because Starcraft Brood War is a Windows game from 1998, so it's 32 bit. Okay, so wine says it's already installed, it installs I know, 100 packages. 36 uh, dip packages. Okay, then let's uh, get to our StarCraft. Let's unzip it. Go to that directory. Not be a root user anymore. Change to that directory. And then let's just start um, um, YMCFG first. So this is the first time I'm running Wine for my user. So this is a tilde, the home directory. It creates a hidden directory named tilde slash dot Wine. And uh, in there, there will be the Windows standard um, directory structure. So C column backslash Windows, C column backslash program file, C column backslash, backslash C program files x86, etc. This is a configurator for Wine. There's also a control panel, the Windows style control panel. There's also a registry edit, notepad and explorers and other Execute Windows executables that come out of the box when you install Windows versions. Okay, so at least Wine works and the prefix, which is that hidden directory, dot Wine was created. Let's go there and see how it looks like. So there's DOS devices, which is just symlinks. Z is a symlink to slash, so to the root of my file system. C is probably a symlink to here, to this directory, it's tilde slash dot wine slash drive C. And in here I have a standard uh, Windows operating system file structure. The next thing to do is to run the simplest of the two exe. So there's uh, starcraft.exe and staredit.exe. Let's run staredit. Okay. So this is a uh, license agreement. I agree. Okay. 
So this is the campaign editor. I can put mud, I can put grass, I can put units. I can put Ursa Dons. And then let's put some uh, Protoss units. You do not have enough power to replace this unit. You are limited to 200 power per player. Okay. Escape. And then there's the about dialog box. Um, the help viewer works. And then you can save and open a campaign that you just um, created. So with extension SCM. Okay. So from what I see, the campaign editor works okay. Do you want to save? No. So let's now go to the other executable, which is called StarCraft. It's uppercase S, uppercase C. Okay, so multiplayer expansion, UDP, username, create game, web maps, eight big game hunters, free for all speed, fastest. Okay, me, Protos, and two bots, random races. Okay. Create a uh, probe. Speed. Our mouse scroll, CPU throttling. Sound. No music. Let's make digital volume a bit lower. Okay. And uh, video, nothing to change here. Resume game. Another probe. The speed is really great. More probes. Let's get a pylon. So we're on a almost island. And there's a narrow passage through towards our island, so we'll build a line of uh, in here. At least a pylon. Let's start collecting Vespin gas. More probes. We need a forge. Let's build another pylon. Build wash in here. OK. 
Okay, so while that's happening, let's build up second forge. and start building cannons. Build more cannons. Another probe. What we can build now? Uh, ground weapons. Okay, what can this do? Plasma shields, let's go with that. Let's build another simulator. Start mining. Build cannon. Build more probes. Very weak defense. Okay, we we'll need to build more cannons. And at least one more. One more. Okay, let's start building next. Build what we need, a gateway. Cybernetics core, which requires cybernetics core. And that requires a gateway. Okay. Let's make some pylons where they don't Okay, so we're just down to two players from three. Okay, where's the cybernetics core? Build 
Maybe here. Okay. In here, build. Where are you? Cybernetic score. Templar archives. Okay, get me a free beacon. Okay, what else can we build? So we need a fleet beacon. Fleet beacon, where are you? Let's build this thing too. So we need a fleet beacon, Templar archives. And the Templar archives require Citadel of Fayon, so I'm building all of those. Uh, let's build a, this thing. More probes. A set rally point here. And let's see what we can do. Or max interceptors, set rally point here, Corsair. Let's build that recon. 
Eight Templar Archives, we need that. Dragon attack range. So what is that? No. Oh. Okay. Plasma shields. Oh, it's not looking good. Okay, what about rally points? Let's get, uh, okay, so start building pylons. Okay, let's see. Not enough pylons. Let me get more cannons. Okay, uh, let's start building Arbiters, Arbiter Tribunal.
Corsair, Corsair. Okay. So, build Arbiter Tribunal. the observer story robotics facility which is this thing Okay, Arbiters, at least two. Carriers, more carriers. Armor. Okay, what can we do? This thing. I need observatory. So let's start attacking. Okay, let's get one there. What else? This thing should help these. This should help this guy. One more observer. Attack there. Okay. This guy should go there. This guy should go there. And this guy should attack there. Where is everybody?
Okay, build more and more. Okay. Do your things. Build pylon. Okay, I need more one more observer. This guy, what are you doing here? Okay. Build more. Um. Okay, what else can we do? Oh. Okay, let's get them an orbiter, an observer.
let's send more gas. Okay. Let's make everybody patrol everywhere. Bitter. And that should be it. Yay, and mission. Thank you. So, StarCraft Brood Wars works great in the current version of Wine that's shipped with current Linux operating systems, both in windowed mode, as I played it right now, so I'm playing it inside of a window, and also full screen. Thank you.